Hello, my name is Ray. Today I'm doing a review of a kit. Actually a kit, two different kits. One is a water rocket system here, uh, made by Quest Rockets. Um, the, other, the other item I'm reviewing are these red fins here, attached to the back of this two liter bottle. These fins are called strato fins. Normally, folks that are into the hobby of water rockets will make their own fins out of different kind of materials, but um, this company made a pretty ingenious set of fins that as you can see they're flexible, hard to break, and they also have another threaded ring on the bottom that mimics the one on the bottle. So here you can attach whatever kind of uh, nozzle you have if you're using a nozzle. In this case, I have a Quest nozzle. It's going to go there. Something I noticed about the Quest nozzle though is these two edges have broken off. That might be a weakness in the design. Maybe this is a fragile plastic. But um, that's a whole nother story. What you do is you put water in the bottle up to about this line here. It's hard to hold the camera and do it. So I'm going to set it up first and then put everything back together and we'll do part two. Alright, this is what the bottle looks like in position. You can see how much water we have in it. The way it works is you can see this release here. When we pull the string, this release releases the, uh, the nozzle. Take, makes it shoot off. I modified the Quest system. I put this little this little ring here, glued it on. The reason why, normally, when I pull from here, sometimes the, the unit would twitch or move backwards. And I found that putting this attachment here makes it pull straight down and there's less movement up here because that can misdirect the rocket a little bit. Um, also, this is a nose cone that cushions the fall. Underneath the nose cone is a big washer. What I notice is if there's no nose weight in the rockets, they won't shoot straight. They'll kind of tumble. Um, when you do use a rocket like this, you have to have a big field like this one. Because when it shoots up, it drifts really far. And sometimes you can, can't predict where it's going to go. So, next step is to pump it up. We're going to pump it up to about 80 PSI. Alright, we're going to try a launch. The way the wind is blowing, it may, it may fly into the sun. I'll see what I can do about that. It's tumbling. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> nice. Wow. The good thing about the system here is it has this adjuster. You can adjust how high. Change the focus. You can adjust how high and the angle uh, the rocket's pointed at because right now the wind is coming in from in front of me. So the higher the wind blows, the more you want to point it into the wind. The Quest rocket comes with a bumper, a foam bumper. But when you look at it real close, you realize the bumper is really a, a floaty from a pool. So I found a five-star floaty that matches the five points on the two liter bottle. Um, I know it's not pretty, but it does a job. Oh, on a side point, there's something quickly I learned. The manufacturer recommends filling the bottle 300 milliliters, which is to this, this line where my thumb is. Don't be tempted to add, well, you can be tempted, add more. I, I figured if you add more water, more pressure, it'll go higher, simple, but no. What I found is the more water I add, the more unstable it becomes. And it spends so much time weaving around, going left and right, that it doesn't go high. And a lot of times it goes sideways, which is bad. So what I actually found is adding a little less water makes it go straighter and in effect it goes a lot higher. So um, you can experiment as long as you got a big open field. No kids around. 
All right, we pumped the rocket up to about 80 PSI. It's ready to go. Let's give it a try. There's one thing I noticed about the straddle fins that I like that I didn't have before. Normally the rocket would aim straight down at the ground like an arrow coming down fast. But with the straddle fins it kind of tumbled. And there's no damage. So that's our review of the Quest water rocket system and the straddle fin. Um, Thanks for watching.